How to illustrate a book. Are you a natural artist? Good with a pencil or paints? Then you may want to illustrate a book someday. There are several steps you can take to successfully accomplish this goal. Illustrating a book for money. Find a job. In order to be paid for your work as a professional illustrator you will need to go through the, often challenging, process of finding work. While you are searching for paid work, it may be valuable to do unpaid jobs which will help you build up for portfolio. If you wish to be paid for your work, try contacting anyone you know in the business of publishing or editing books to see if they can help point you in the right direction. You can also contact a publishing company by phone or letter. In doing this, you may get a chance to have your portfolio considered. You are likely to be rejected many times, so be persistent. Meet with the art director. This may be via phone or email, or it may be in person. Regardless, this is the time to agree upon deadlines, any special requirements of the author, your timetable and availability, or any other questions you might have. You will repeat this step many times throughout the process. You will need to show the author, s and publishers samples of what you have so far in order to agree that it is moving in the right direction. You will repeat this step many times throughout the process. You will need to show the author, s and publishers samples of what you have so far in order to agree that it is moving in the right direction. Read drafts. When you finally do find someone in need of your services, they will give you either one or many options of different novels and books. You must, of course, read a draft or if the story is a reprint read the original book previous to the reprint. You may be lucky enough to have the opportunity to do a cover or dust jacket design. You must make sure you thoroughly understand the plot and its characters, remember their emotions are expressed through your art. Meet with the author. If you have agreed that you enjoy the story, and that you would like to illustrate it, you should meet with the author to discuss and agree upon a number of things such as, the cover and whether or not you will illustrate it, which pages should be illustrated, what kind of media you will use i.e. what kind of illustrations you are going to make, etc. Sign a contract. After you've met with the author and agreed on the details, you will need to sign a contract that specifies all the details of your agreement with the publishing company and or author. Make sure the contract includes pertinent information such as when you should be finished and how much you should be paid. Make sure to get a copy of the contract which includes the signatures of all involved parties and the date it was signed. Make sure the contract includes pertinent information such as when you should be finished and how much you should be paid. Make sure to get a copy of the contract which includes the signatures of all involved parties and the date it was signed. Begin the process of illustration. How this step proceeds depends on how you, as an artist, prefer to work. Some illustrators like to begin with making some pencil sketches of the ideas they have in their head, comparing them and getting feedback from friends and family. While others just free draw. However you do it, you need to start coming up with a solid idea of what each character will look like, and what the style of the illustrations will be. Your method for illustrating may be completely different, and that is okay. If you are successfully creating illustrations, there is no reason to try to change anything. Your method for illustrating may be completely different, and that is okay. If you are successfully creating illustrations, there is no reason to try to change anything. Refine your drawings. Once you have come up with a sketch that fits with the guidelines of the publisher these will be different for every publisher, and probably every job, you will need to come up with rough sketches for each required page that you will review with the author, publishers. Sometimes it can be hard to receive feedback from others, especially if it is critical, however, you should try not to take this personally. They only want the book to be as good as it can be. Revise your illustrations. Based on the feedback of the authors you should do your best to revise them so that all parties can be happy with the end product. Be sure that the illustrations will fit the dimensions of the book. 
If you draw the image too big, parts of the image will be missing from the book, and the effect may not be the same. P it equals, underscore ref 5, class equals, reference aria label equals, link to reference 5, greater than be sure that the illustrations will fit the dimensions of the book. If you draw the image too big, parts of the image will be missing from the book, and the effect may not be the same. Finish your illustrations. After what is likely to be several rounds of feedback on your work, you will be able to complete a final illustration. You will then send these to the publisher, where the sketches and the story will be put together to create the final product.